Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining the San Francisco Association of Realtors Global Business Council as we present Who is FIOPSI, the International Real Estate Federation? I'm Susan Getz. I'm the chair of San Francisco Association of Realtors Global Business Council. I'll continue to volunteer this next year on the committee, and I want to take a moment to invite you all to join me and the Global Business Council. Um, if you'd like to get more information about GBC, you can email me at susan.getz at compass.com, and um, I'll follow up to get you signed up for the committee. Uh, during our time together today, we're going to watch a short visit video presentation from FIOPSI. After that, we'll hear from the esteemed panelist. Please post any questions in the chat and we'll be monitoring the chat for questions. This meeting should last about an hour. My co-host today is Edwina Tynan and I am going to hand this over to um, our support at SFAR, Esther and Genevieve to please start the video. And then Edwina will, um, will take over from there. Edwina Tynan is the FIOPSI USA Vice President of Membership Diversification, Regional Representative for Region 5, and serves on the FIOPSI USA Board of Directors 2223. Thank you, Esther. To Please play the video. France in 1951 by Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, and the USA. FIAPSI is a worldwide business networking organization for all professionals associated with the real estate industry. It also holds special consultative status at the United Nations. For about 70 years, FIAPSI has provided access and opportunities for real estate professionals interested in gaining knowledge, sharing information, and conducting international business with each other. Our main objectives are worldwide networking for members, exchange of information on the real estate market, cultural and educational exchanges among professionals, and sharing best practices worldwide. We are an international umbrella organization located in more than 70 countries and represented by 47 national and multinational chapters. Our members have different backgrounds spanning over 40 professions. Currently, we have 90 national associations, 95 academic and public institutions, 2,300 regular members, and over 1 million associate members. We are committed to the world urban development. In fact, Within the framework of the New Urban Agenda and Sustainable Development Goals, also known as SDGs, the UN Habitat and FIAPSI cooperate for the implementation of the City Prosperity Initiative, also called CPI. The objective of the CPI is to assess the sustainable urban development of cities. As you can see in this slide, FIAPSI has a very diverse membership, representing over 40 professions. We have members such as architects, associations and academics, brokers, developers, investors, local and public authorities, managers, among many other experts. We are very proud to introduce our global partners. From UN Habitat to Habitatum, these partnerships ensure the support needed for FIAPSI to be successful in its mission and main activities. Introducing our principal members.
Introducing our academic members. Introducing our public members. Introducing our members, world organizations. Last but not least, introducing our corporate members. As part of our membership value proposition, FIAMC embodies a single platform to access the local, regional, and international real estate industry. Attend world-class global events, contribute to the urban agenda and the sustainable development goals, access international markets and network with thousands of experts worldwide, embrace education and exchange programs, qualification and MOC, share best practices on smart cities, green buildings, IoT, blockchain and big data, create synergy on global issues and participate in World Prix d'Excellence Awards. Here is an overview of global projects FIATSU is currently involved in, whether in collaboration with other partners and institutions, such as the UN Habitat and the World Bank, or projects solely implemented by FIATSU. Called the Oscar of Real Estate, the FIATSU World Prix d'Excellence Award is given to the real estate projects that embody excellence in all disciplines involved in their creation. The International Award is an affirmation of the FIAPSI ideal of providing society with optimal solutions to its property needs and helping make the world a better place to live, work, and enjoy. The Prix d'Excellence projects are judged according to the following criteria. Architecture and design, development and construction, community benefits, environmental impact, and financial and marketing success. Our categories include affordable housing, environmental, heritage, hotel, industrial, master plan, office, public infrastructure, purpose-built, residential, resort, retail, and last but not least, sustainable development. In 1971, FIAPSI obtained rooster consultative status, and later, on May 31, 1996, FIAPSI obtained special consultative status at the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations, dedicated to sustainable development, providing overall guidance and coordination. FIAPSI supports the implementation of the new urban agenda, which is the outcome document agreed upon at the Habitat Third Cities Conference in Quito, Ecuador, in October 2016. The City Prosperity Initiative is one of FIAPSI's major global projects and it measures the sustainable urban development of cities worldwide in partnership with the UN Habitat. The City We Need as Affordable Publications are another FIAPSI's global projects that look at some of real estate's more innovative responses to the challenge of affordable housing all around the world. Moving on to global events, FIAPSI organizes yearly international events, including three major ones, such as the FIAPSI and MIPIM, World Real Estate Congress and Global Leadership Summit. In addition to this, our national and multinational chapters organize events all year round. Following the global outbreak, FIAPSI also went virtual and has successfully hosted at least 20 international webinars with experts from different real estate backgrounds from around the world. Here are some highlights of past FIAPSI Global events.
Last but not least, we take you through the international events FIAFC has organized since the beginning of the global outbreak to add value proposition to its members and community as a whole. These promotional banners illustrate the 20 webinars held last year with a total of 68 speakers from 30 countries. We have reached the end of this presentation, a glimpse of what FIAFC is all about. Should you need more information or have further questions, please contact us using the details you see on your screen. Thank you. FIAFC, a spirit of business community to share and inspire best practices worldwide. Wow, that was great. That was really well done. Thank you, uh, Edwina, for supplying that. I would like to introduce uh, Edwina Tainan, who's the Vice President of Member Diversification and a board member of FIOPSI, and she's going to introduce all of our fine panelists. Take it away, Edwina. Okay, thank you, Rob. Welcome, everyone. Firstly, I would like to thank SFA or and Global Business Council for hosting FIOPSI USA today. Everyone who worked hard to make it happen, including Suzanne Getz, Rob Edwards, Esther Lee, Emily Harold, and SFA or President Jeannie Gant, and all the San, San Francisco Association of Realtors staff. I'm incredibly honored to introduce our distinguished and accomplished panelists. Each one is a FIOPSI member who volunteers their time to improve our organization and expand their horizons in the real estate world. I like to think of them as visionaries in the global real estate arena. For example, some of them have reshaped cities Others are currently seeking equity partners to build brand new cities, and some are world travelers and global connectors. We also have an expert on the Golden Visa Program attending from Portugal. Another member is the VP of a prop tech commercial real estate company, and another founded the real estate division of an Australian merchant bank. Last but not least, we have an appointee to the Business and Industries Group who make contribution and supports the United Nations Habitat World Urban Campaign. So our first panelist today is Liz Davison. And Liz is a proud member of FIOPSI USA since 2009. She is a global connector her vision, tenacity, and commitment to her clientele, both locally and globally, is unparalleled. And she is currently working on connecting investors, looking for investment opportunities within the US developers, creating successful partnerships with two amazing development projects she's working on, the Haley and Ship Lofts in Washington. Liz's vision for the international uh, for international business has led her to leadership roles within FIOPSI USA, Seattle Pacific Northwest. Welcome, Liz. I'll hand it over to you now. Hello, everyone. I'm Liz Davidson, a global connector from Vancouver, Washington. I used to live in Seattle, but uh, before COVID, I moved back to be with my family, and it was a good thing I did. I am a licensed with uh, EXP Realty in Oregon and Washington. I've been with FIOPSI since 2009, 
And this year, I'm also the first vice president of Women's Council of Realtors, Greater Portland area. Having grown up in Hong Kong and lived in Japan, Singapore, Texas, Portland, Seattle, as well as traveled to over 60 countries to date, I have grown to love traveling. Being a member of FIAPSI International Real Estate Federation has given me the opportunity to travel to international conferences and connect with FIAPSI members globally. This truly is the only non-political international business club that I know of. It is through these experiences that I have come to understand that almost every investor from other parts of the world wants to invest in the US. The, one of the reasons is education for their children. And the other and more important reason is that parking their investment dollars in the US make them feel like their money and they are safe. My business when I started in the real estate industry over 20 years ago was mostly residential and some commercial transactions. Today, I'm working with foreign investors, developers, US developers, owners of apartments and office buildings, landowners and connecting overseas investors with US projects. After I joined FIAPSI, I had decided to be involved locally, nationally and globally. I had found that FIAPSI uh, founded the FIAPSI USA Seattle Pacific Northwest Council in 2009, got involved with FIAPSI USA on the board and was nominated to vice president of FIAPSI Asia Pacific region from 2013 to 2017. This is how I had put my name and myself out there and participated in all, all levels of the organization to get the most out of my membership nationally and internationally. Of course, it took 13 years of constantly re recreating my expertise and finding and vetting development projects, approaching cities and getting to know the development and planning executives to understand what these cities need and connecting investors to development projects that I needed. One of the projects I had created as president with uh, FIAPSI USA in Seattle was city tours of neighboring cities, meeting with development and planning offices and figuring out what developments are needed the first city I had approached was the city of Tacoma in 2013, where I had connected with exec executive director Ricardo Noguera and brought a FIAPSI Vietnamese investor who was a major developer in Ho Chi Minh City to develop an apartment complex, the Haley in Tacoma. I was instrumental in helping my clients with putting the development team together and setting up a meeting with Ricardo and the mayor of Tacoma at the time, Marilyn Strickland, to meetings in Hanoi, Vietnam to discuss this development project. The cost of the project was over $40 million and this required the approval of the Vietnamese government. This experience was quite an education in helping my clients with getting funding out of the communist country. Besides a strong business connection with this client, we have developed a strong friendship, which is very valuable. The most exciting part of being in the FIAPSI family is meeting so many interesting friends from all over the world. One in particular is meeting my business partner, Rusman Lawin from FIAPSI Indonesia. Um, and he's also a member of the Bali, uh, at the Bali Business Conference uh, in the winter of 2018. And working alongside him to connect investors with business opportunities in the US. We have recently connected um, an eco-sustainable project, the ship lofts in the city of Tacoma with an investor from Switzerland who will be participating as an equity partner in the project that will change the face of Tacoma right on Thea Foss Waterway. In September of this year, I had to put together a presentation in the city of Tacoma to highlight these two projects that I'm working on. Uh, the developer of, uh, of the Haley, Peter Trong, who is also a FIAPSI Vietnam member, uh, presented his project, as well as uh, David Griesheber, developer of Ship Love's eco-sustainable luxury condominium development project, showed what an amazing concept he had with his development. Uh, the New Santara, new capital city of Indonesia was presented by Rusman, who traveled all the way from Indonesia, as well as the city of Tacoma presenting new projects that are happening in the next three to four years in the city. Out of this presentation, 
I had developed more connections and will be listing a four acre development site in the city of Tacoma. Having said all that, I will be a FIOPSI member for as long as I'm in business, meeting old friends and making new ones at every conference I attend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Liz. So our next panelist is G. Evan Bennett. Evan Bennett is the founder and managing partner of Anthology Capital. He is vice president of member support at a prop tech company called Market Maker CRE, where he manages the company's business relationships and institutional investors. In this role, he syndicates investments in commercial real estate for passive investors with a focus on industrial office and retail properties located in the Seattle, Portland and San Francisco areas. Evan is Secretary General FreeOpsy World Council of Experts and currently serves on the Board of Directors FreeOpsy USA 2022. Welcome, Evan. Thank you, Edwina. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you know, first and foremost, I would just like to you know, recognize Liz. Uh, I, well, you may be able to tell from the background here. I live in Seattle as well. I'm longtime friends with Liz, and it was actually uh, her activities with Ricardo and what they did in the city of Tacoma, how they were able to bring that investor uh, to develop the, the apartment building that Liz was telling us about, the Haley, that really inspired me to join FIOPSI Oh, wow. How long has it been now? Uh, seven, eight years ago, I guess. But uh, very impressed with what Liz was able to accomplish there with Ricardo. But uh, having said that, you know, just to talk a little bit about myself. So as a much younger man, I lived in Japan for many, many years. And then when I relocated with my family back to the United States, we settled in the Seattle area. And that's basically when I started my real estate career. First, I worked as a commercial real estate appraiser, did that for a number of years. Then I transitioned to real estate banking. I originated loans for stabilized uh, commercial real estate investment properties, uh, commercial real estate. Uh, and then eventually I transitioned into investing myself into commercial real estate as Edwina was uh, discussing or uh, describing. Uh, primarily located in the Pacific uh, Northwest region of the United States, but something that I've only recently uh, become involved with. I've also invested in a prop tech company called Market Maker CRE, and very excited about that. And, and in addition, I've taken on the role of uh, vice president of member support, as Edwina mentioned, but uh, it's very exciting what we're doing there. We've created an ecosystem and a marketplace uh, for commercial real estate uh, inst institutional quality commercial real estate. So our clients are REITs, uh, funds, other institutional investors. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going into a, a lot of uh, detail uh, here, you know, in this format. But it's just very exciting. You know, we're creating a uh, a platform that very well has the uh, the possibility of becoming the go-to marketplace for institutional quality commercial real estate within the next two or three years. So really excited about that. But sort of tying that all together, running through you know, that timeline of my career, you know, at least over the past seven, eight years, FIOPSI has been sort of a mainstay. And it's done so much for me uh, in terms of, uh, you know, as, as a matter of practicality, it's enabled me to, to connect with people from all over the world. Some of them are being investors who are very interested in investing in commercial real estate in the United States. Uh, but in addition to all of that, it's, it's really just helped me to open or, or broaden my horizons, you know, just enabling me to interact uh, and network and become friends uh, and business you know, colleagues with people from all around the world and just, I, I really, I get quite a bit out of that, you know, it just gives me so much energy and uh, positivity and just makes me so uh, hopeful about what the future holds, you know, just to know that we have this group of people who support each other, uh, you know, serve as mentors, uh, or uh, in one way or the other, uh, we're all in it together and we're all just trying to help each other improve in their businesses. 
and 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 beyond that, you know, just to be good friends and have uh, not only business relationships but social, you know, friendly relationships with people. And if that wasn't enough, then we get uh, to travel all over the world and meet with them in person. And it's just, uh, I've gotten so much out of it. It's helped me to broaden my horizons, as I said. And I really would just encourage anyone who's in any uh, number of, working in any number of professions, uh, you know, in, in the real estate, underneath the real estate umbrella, uh, to consider uh, joining FIOPSI, because there's just so much that you can get out of it. And with that, yeah, thank you. I appreciate uh, the time to speak. Thank you, Edwina. Thank you, Evan. I can feel your enthusiasm. It's amazing. Uh, Joski, Joski Thompson, um, our own broker here with Compass San Francisco. He's a certified international property specialist. And Joski is one of our past leaders of FIOPSI here in San Francisco. He is currently on the 2022-23 Nominations Committee with FIOPSI USA. Joski has been a licensed real estate broker since 1983. His extensive experience in both residential and commercial sales over the past 39 years has made him a coveted real estate resource. His instinctual ability to identify market directions and new market trends within the San Francisco property market was honed in his background when he co-founded the real estate division of an Australian merchant bank. Joski is consistently ranked as a top producing agent in San Francisco, and he is past chair of the SFA or Global Business Council. Welcome, Joski. Edwina, thank you so very much, and thanks for uh, inviting me to. Joski, if you can unmute. Sorry, it it seems like I it keeps um, muting me. Well, uh, thank you once again, Edwina, for for the very kind introduction, and and I'm so pleased to be a part of the panel today, and and so, and here with a lot of my great colleagues. Um, one of the things that was important for me in being with FIOPSI was connecting again with the international community, uh, which is where my career started almost 40 years ago. And I approached the, 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 the um, FIOPSI um, um, broad network from a different capacity, I think. They're not different, but uh, as as many uh, will you know will will say, it, it's it's wonderful when you can meet people you know all over the world and make those those connections. I'm going to share with you now a uh, a presentation that I did um, on a trip that I did to India in September 2017. And um, one of the things that I like to do when I attend the oh, when I hit 10, these is really take a deep dive and then also do this type of a presentation for uh, when I'm meeting with clients or people, others being able to see this. Um, I go into, this was also, oh, let me just go, go back. This was also, uh, uh, the, the, the three areas were, that we visited were Delhi, Mumbai, and Bangalore. In Mumbai, that was NAR's India's National Annual Convention. I didn't even know NAR had an India uh, 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 affiliate, but it does, and, and it was fantastic. Um, I really mastered the, the world of networking um, and going over our current president, Raj Rapal, uh, headed, headed up this trade mission. And he said, you know, to all of us, uh, you know, you should take about 700 business cards. And I had no idea what he meant or, or why, but I did because I'm, I try to be an A student as much as possible. And I literally handed out over 550 business cards at, uh, while in India because networking is just the way of life uh, uh, there. And a lot of those people I'm still in touch with on social media 
I have had a couple of um, people that, that I met there actually come to San Francisco to want to do business. So um, again, what I do is I just, I really look, um, this was back in 2017 when this was, when, when I did this, but I really took a deep dive into what they're doing, where, where the direction of growth is going, um, the buyer profile, as you can see, first time buyer age in India uh, is 45 and Bangalore is 35, which Bangalore is the new Silicon Valley of India. And I also looked at a lot of the trends and this is things that I think we, we all do here, but I, I love doing this and putting together this type of a presentation so that I could share it with everyone uh, show the value of, of, of really why, um, why Theopsy. And, um, oops, sorry. So that's, uh, I, I think the world of, of the organization and um, I, I have a lot of takeaways from the different ones. And this was just one, there's one uh, when I was in Moscow for one of the uh, annual conventions, the same with Dubai. Um, but I, I like I, I have a, a, a huge fondness for uh, for for India. And when I was here, I'll just one last little quick thing. When I was in New Delhi and I went to have my princess die photo in front of the Taj Mahal, I posted it online and and I said to um, I, I put on, oh, hey, I just put an offer in on this and I'm waiting for a response. And a couple of friends responded, oh, I can't wait to come and visit you and, and be there. I said, well, unfortunately, it's only a one bedroom, <laughs> which it is, if you, if you didn't know that. Uh, uh, it's actually a crypt. It's not a bedroom, but it's a one person crypt. But anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I think, again, the world of Theopsy, and I hope to see many new faces as well. Thank you, Joski. That was wonderful. And it just shows how you can you can adapt Fiopsy to your own needs. And when you want to travel, you do a presentation like this, you can take it back with you. It's amazing. That's wonderful. So our next panelist is Ricardo Nogura. Ricardo was instrumental in facilitating the relationships that led to the city of Brentwood, California, becoming a public sector member this year with FIOPSI USA. Currently, his role is Economic Development Manager with the city of Brentwood. Ricardo is originally from Brooklyn, New York, and he holds a BA in Cultural Geography from Hunter College City University, and obtained a master's in city and regional planning from the University of California at Berkeley. He has more than 30 years of experience in economic development in real estate. His focus has been on revitalizing economically challenged communities by drawing investments and industry. He has facilitated several million dollars developments over his uh, multi-million dollar developments over his career. And he also represents the development of several cities across the states of California, Washington, and Florida. Welcome, Ricardo. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. I have a little presentation. I want to thank Edwina for bringing a host of folks out here in September from Theopsy, including um, Russman. Um, I also um, want to put um, send out a, uh, a big hug to my buddy Liz Davidson, who I've had the pleasure of working with since 2016. And although I 2015, and although I left Tacoma in 2017, I think our relationship has continued. And and she played a key role in me joining FIOPSI and introducing me to Alina, who's taken me under a wing, and then Edwina. So I, I thank you all. And I have a little presentation. And hopefully you won't um, cut, cut the lights off on me, but I'm going to try and move quickly. So I'm going to share the screen. And hopefully...
Can you see it? Can folks see it? Not yet. All right, let's see. So I'm going to take you on a, a quick trip. And I, I have traveled extensively throughout China, Vietnam, and the Ukraine. And this all led to my participation in FIOPSI. This, this photo right here is on the beautiful steps of the Yangtze River in um, Wuhan. I don't need to go over my credentials, which were just discussed. Um, as well as my honors and my areas of expertise. I just shared, I've been to, I've met people from China and they were like shocked. I've been to Beijing, I've been to Shanghai, Wuhan, Chengdu, Baisa, and Fuzhou. I've also visited the cities of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, Kiev, Brovary City, and actually established a sister city relationship in Brovary, which is a suburb of Kiev back in 2016, and also worked with an Indian developer from Kirkland, Washington. This first photo I have before you is a project I facilitated on a convention center parking lot that sat idle in Tacoma for several years. Um, I was able to negotiate and travel with our mayor to Shanghai with a meet a private developer who purchased the air rights of the parking lot and developed the largest building and largest hotel in downtown Tacoma, a $90 million Marriott um, Convention Center Hotel that was finished a few years ago. In addition to that, I worked with a Wuhan developer, traveled to Wuhan, negotiated the development agreement, and he purchased another former city asset, a former a site that was supposed to have been developed as a police station, um, and is currently building a town center in the heart of the city's brewery district. At, um, at um, Liz's suggestion, the mayor and I, the mayor is in the center, Marilyn Strickland, I'm over here. We traveled to Vietnam. Um, had to get the approval, this is the developer, we had to get approval for the Vietnamese government for them to take funds out of Vietnam to invest in Tacoma. This developer here with the green tie traveled to Tacoma, um, was able to raise close to $50 million to purchase an idle city parking lot on Tacoma Avenue and develop a mixed use project taking property that was off the tax rolls and putting it on the tax rolls, just like the other two projects I mentioned. This is the Haley that Liz was talking about that he developed. Over 200 units, $45 million project, over 8,000 square feet of ground floor uh, retail. I also traveled to Kiev with a pastor and his son, Back in 2016, if we didn't have the challenges that were taking place um, on an international level, I was getting ready to bring some um, Ukrainian developers to Tacoma to invest there. And folks say, well, why did you go to Ukraine? This gentleman sitting here at the chair was very instrumental for attracting investors from the Ukraine to the Pacific Northwest, where there are many people of Slavic descent living there. Just another photo of, hopefully this building wasn't damaged by the Russians. Um, this project right here is under construction. I was just there two weeks ago. This is in Tacoma's Hilltop, for those of you familiar with this area. I was able to convince the state of Washington that had owned this vacant lot almost the whole square block for several years to sell it to this Indian developer from Kirkland, Washington, who is now building a 75 million plus mixed use transit oriented development in Tacoma's Hilltop. And then why, why should you join FIOPSI? And I've been talking to other local government officials since I um, joined just a few months ago. They're, here are the benefits, the networking, the recruitment of developers, 
the promotion of sites for developers and, and investors, and then long-term friendships. And this is the Vietnamese developer in the center, his son to the far right, and his assistant. I have gone up to their home in Washington and played quite a bit of table tennis with them and have become a real friend. Now let's talk about Brentwood. I'm representing a 300 acre site with about seven property owners in Brentwood. This is one of the largest undeveloped and readily available sites in the San Francisco Bay Area. Some highlights, the city's investing 25 million in public infrastructure. We already have an environmental impact report approved. We have a pedestrian bicycle bridge under construction. We're also looking at um, financing to address the public infrastructure improvements in the interior of the site. And we're working with BART on a potential expansion over the next several years. In terms of new projects underway, Blossoms at uh, Brentwood, this is a 288 unit multifamily project, nearly complete that should be finished by the end of this year. We're, we're marketing an employment center. We have a large number of our residents that are either working in the tech industry or working in the healthcare industry. So the goal here is to attract um, life sciences and technology firms from other parts of the Bay Area or from places like Bangalore to Brentwood. So, we, so our folks can work, live and work in the same community. We're also looking for mixed use developers. Um, this is the Blossoms at Brentwood. This is the bridge under construction. And why it makes sense to, um, uh, to establish life sciences and a town center. As I just mentioned, it's a long commute. And those familiar with the San Francisco Bay Area, many are traveling westbound. There are few sites available of this size in the Bay Area. It's proximity to thousands of tech workers and offers a reverse commute for those coming from places such as Berkeley and, um, and Emeryville. Our vision is a town center with a major employment hub. Um, we have opportunities for master developers anywhere from five to 200 acres. The city can provide financial incentives and very eager to, um, to discuss further with any interested developers or brokers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ricardo. Our next uh, panelist is Alina Avey. Alina is a broker here in San, with Compass in San Francisco. She is one of our San Francisco FIOPSI past leaders and currently the FIOPSI World VP of Marketing Networking Committee 2022-23. Alina is a global real estate consultant, sought after speaker and investor based in San Francisco. She prides herself in connecting the private government and non-governmental sectors together. She has a background in journalism and economic research. She holds a PhD in economics and emphasis in globalization. Alina is 2022-2023 NA or Global Coordinator for Eastern Europe, Middle East and Africa. She coordinates relationships with bilateral real estate partners in 21 countries, promoting and expanding educational and business exchange programs. But uh, we have a big congratulations to her because she has been recently appointed the co-chair of the Business and Industries Group 2022-24 with the General Assembly of Partners, which is an independent multi-stakeholder platform for the World Urban Campaign, who supports and contributes to the United Nations Habitat 3 process. Welcome, Alina. Thank you very much for having me and thank you for organizing this. <clears throat> our, uh, our hometown and our home base, San Francisco, San Francisco Global Business Council. Um, I started, you know, as, as Liz was mentioning, I, I started as a residential real estate broker here in San Francisco. 
And yes, I had a lot of global connection. I'm global by nature. I'm coming from a global background. I'm originally from Romania. I worked, you know, in the past for economic free zones for international companies and multi, you know, cor corporate corporations, multinational corporations such as Maersk, Unilever, Motorola. I was involved in all that. <clears throat> I did travel um, before I came here in Asia and Europe quite a bit. Um, and um, yes, being in San Francisco, you're exposed to a variety of clients. It's a very global hub, right? It's a uh, the, the world global technology hub. So yes, we all have global clients from all over the world. But it's more of a reactionary type of attitude towards global, you know, when you are here and you're waiting and yes, you know, you're going to have clients from all over the world, they will come and work with you and they could be uh, from India, from China, from, uh, you know, France or, or Mexico or whatever, you know, they are. However, when I discovered uh, FIAPSI, my world changed and that was about nine years ago. Uh, so, uh, I just realized that uh, you can actually, instead of, of, of waiting, you can go towards the world. You don't have to wait for the world to come to you. And it's a different approach. And then the world is actually not that big at all, just because uh, this, is, uh, this is actually not a large niche. It's a small niche. Not everybody does this kind of things like Liz does. Uh, or, or like Ricardo, or, or even, or you know, um, uh, or Edwina, or Joski. Um, it does take dedication, and it's a combination between volunteering because you need to support these organizations that they are relying heavily on global volunteers like us uh, with the business acumen. And uh, you will find a lot of joy, um, you know, in it if you are very interested to do it. So. I realized that there is another way to, you know, to assess whatever needs you have here locally, and you can attract even more global investments, more uh, global interest. Uh, if you go out there and meet people at, at different uh, congresses and conferences and events, and you create friendships and trust, because it takes time, it's not happening over time. So um, it took me years and traveling to different congresses in Kuala Lumpur, um, in Ghent, in uh, Andorra, in places that probably I wouldn't travel otherwise. And uh, being able to um, um, get to know and be familiar with both the, uh, the business side and also the um, socio uh, uh, um, political aspect of, of, of regions that I visited. And uh, I uh, just realized that it's a completely way of doing business. And for the fact that I have a real estate license for the state of California does not mean that I cannot be a global real estate advisor. You can work in different ways. You can do transactions and be paid by commission by being local here, but uh, you can also be involved in other projects. So uh, over the time, my interest um, uh, you know, uh, somehow developed and expanded from the residential real estate to economic development, which is something that I've been in the past, but I didn't know how to get back into it. Uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. You know, okay, I will go to the San Francisco city and I will ask them, hey, can you uh, hire me or empower me or let me go and represent your project? That's not going to work like that sometimes. You need to go out there and find some synergies and find some partners. And um, uh, because I do believe in the uh, public private projects are so important. And I think we need to collaborate together to accomplish uh, things that they are uh, very good, very, very good for, for the, the entire community. So uh, my interest uh, migrated towards um, uh, prop tech uh, and I'm very involved in that. And I'm currently representing few prop tech companies. Uh, they're not necessarily based in US. One is based here, but one is based in Dubai and uh, trying to find markets and scale them globally uh, because some local products are very scalable. And uh, in the prop tech arena, we are behind other industries. So uh, that it's very important to find platforms and a way to make the world smaller and to connect you know, globally. So uh, that's one thing that I'm very active in. 
Another one is that I uh, took a particular interest and least recommended and introduced us to Ricardo. And I have a lot of admiration and appreciation for him as a public servant, the way how he goes out of the way and go, goes outside and, and goes into the world to find partners instead of waiting for them to come to him. That's a completely different approach and very innovative and, and uh, um, very uh, active from a public servant uh, point of view. And um, it's, it feels like we've known Ricardo forever right now, right, Edwina? Because we met him, I met him about six months ago, but it feels like I've known Ricardo for years. We, we talk often, we went to events together. He invited me and Edwina to some events. He invited all of us to visit Brentwood City uh, and to um, uh, pr promote his project. So uh, we've uh, started to have a wonderful uh, uh, relationship and he became, he saw the benefits of why he should be a member of FIAPSI. So he joined um, because this is actually it's free for um, for public institutions, uh, if you didn't know that. So that's that's a great bonus. So, um, and uh, um, also, as Edwina mentioned, I'm very interested in uh, SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, um, which are the, on the agenda of United Nations. And, uh, and that is another um, area of interest for me, affordable houses throughout the world, um, title, uh, property titles, uh, and uh, uh, all these things, they do have things in common. Believe me or not, you know, having a uh, real estate license in California does have a lot in common with, uh, with, uh, with, with prop tech industry, uh, with, uh, with nonprofit, with economic development uh, in, in your own state or in your own um, city. Because after all, we as a real estate community and real estate professional, we are a very important part and player at the local level. And we can actually bring awareness, we can bring investors, we can bring connections, and we can take uh, your projects and your image and present it to the world. So that's what I think about it. Thank you very much, Alina. And it just reminds me, I have uh, the Global Business Council at SFAR to thank for meeting you and hearing about FIOPSI. And it just shows we are all a uh, FIOPSI family and tightly connected. Thank you. Our next panelist is Antonio Barbosa. And uh, Antonio, um, it's late there in Portugal. I know you've been waiting. Uh, he's a proud member of FIOPSI USA, and he's an, a member of the National Association of Realtors. He's certified international property specialist. He's a council of residential specialists with an accredited buyer's representative designations. Antonio is a realtor with more than 20 years experience in real estate. He lives and works in Portugal, where he's the founder and CEO of Infinite Solutions Real Estate Company. He is a sought after speaker and expert on the Golden Visa Program in Por Portugal. He is fluent in Portuguese, English and Spanish. We are thrilled to have you here today, Antonio. Um, would love to hear from you. Well, thank you, Edwina, and for that lovely introduction. And hello, everyone, and listening. And wow, I mean, if you have not signed up for FIOPSI yet, what are you waiting for? I mean, these are, look at the panel here. This is what probably, for me, is being around. Uh, when you want to get to the next level, you need to be around the right people, okay? And my story is started um back during it was COVID okay it was interesting you know what we're, we're uh, confined at the house you're looking to network get to know people and I was fortunate enough the path led me to get to know um a few friends I can call them friends that we've met uh Karen uh Smith uh and she was the president of um the FIOPSI when we had the chapters right and I was invited uh, also with Marisa Kagan, which is actually uh, today, uh, this year's uh, National Association of Realtors, a global ambassador for Portugal, Spain, and Italy, and a few other friends. And I says, um, 
let us uh, tell you about this organization. Okay. And I listened and I said, wow, why, how I didn't know about Piazzi for <laughs> this amount of time. It really is like, this is, this is perfect because to get to my, where I am at this level now, definitely Piazzi was a part of it. Definitely, of course, because of networking, getting to know the right people. That's what it's about. And I think my path started there. And I'm definitely the junior when I listen to you guys. Wow. You know, seven, eight years, 20 years. I, you know, I look forward to growing uh, within the organization without a doubt. And my contribution right now is very limited other than to um, probably just building that relationships. And, you know, and I think that's probably in the networking where I've extremely benefited from it at this point with two years with Fiopsi. And without a doubt, during the COVID, the uh, educational, okay, when the blockchain, blockchain series, uh, etc. you know, the education that I learned really there is a better way to do real estate and that's what it's about <laughs> when really fiopsy it really like made and stuck with me uh, there was a programs on every fridays with the uh, vivian swedlewski um and i met uh, you gillian okay which was the past president of um the fiopsy at the time met him in uh, on that fiopsy uh, webinar on a friday and I was introduced to him. I mean, we've con we did connect earlier, but never really been, you know, together on a webinar and talk. And after talking with him and listening to him, that something unique for FIOPSI members, which is Doorways International, it's incredible uh, where we met the Tetra. Hey, Antonio, do you want to send us maybe a few be beautiful properties here? Sure, I'll send it to you. Why not? Guess what, guys? After literally two days, you get a contact from a uh, client from the Netherlands living in New York City. We're doing then the video tour, the virtual tour a few days later. It's like, wow. I mean, it's it's really, I didn't, you know, in my, year, in my 20 years experience of doing real estate, uh, there's, uh, you, you, you have, you, you've done it, but there was always something I felt missing with that global connection. And that's what Fiopsi has done for me, be able to connect with rock stars all over the world and, you know, developers and listening to Ricardo and, and, and Evan and, and, and Liz, I only aspire to get there and, and like, wow, okay, you know, the, the, it's the endless possibility. And the truth is that when you, you have a group of, of, it's a family, I call it a family, you have it around you and you build those relationships and it's it's just you add on just like building a home one brick at a time of course we have to work towards building that relationship and you know as Lilina rightly said you know even Josk I met Josk here in Portugal wow that hug you know like you have this conversation but meeting I look forward to meeting so many of you I mean again I'm the junior year but you know definitely my and you know even I see that with the opposite, like even with the app okay the bundling okay being able to connect we have a roster etc you know birthday you have the opportunities there the chats everything you know it's really a next level of connections with people in the right place. And I think, you know, I, mean, I have nothing more to say about the Opsi. Like I said, what are you waiting for? And that anyone that when I, and I'm invited uh, by just, you know, just distinguished colleagues, like, wow, okay. You know, it makes me really humble more and more just to like, okay, where, what can, what can I do? Really? There's a lot to do. So I look forward to being a part of it, growing it. Um, and definitely uh, being 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 with you guys in that process. So be patient with me, and definitely I'll be reaching out to you to a company on this path because it is a path. Ever since we cross paths with the people in the right places, it's at a different level. You know, the I think it has for me to do with the. Um, we have a word here in Portuguese, brilho, uh, the, the, not brightness, but, you know, the, the pride, the proudness. When I say I'm an honored, me proud member of FIOPSI, FIOPSI USA, I'm a really, you know, it's, it's, I feel proud. I feel really honored and distinguished to be among so many others that, like, you just, you, you want to take it to a different level yourself and the growth. And that's what it's about, leaving a legacy. I think we all can agree in real estate it's about leaving a legacy maybe leaving a legacy here in my own neck of the woods because there is a lot to do with real estate here in portugal and being a part of it we don't know and but i look forward to the challenges and, and really working and, and you know seeing getting you know the definitely the conventions without a doubt so i'll end it here for now back to you okay. and, thank and, uh, you so much antonio 
So um, I really want to thank everyone for participating here today. And if you are interested in becoming a member, please reach out to any of the panelists that um, impressed you today. You can call me or anyone else on the panel. So Rob and Susan, I'll let you take it from here. Thank you very much. Edwina and all the panelists, thank you so much. But Edwina, can you just talk a little bit more about what it's going to mean to the SFAR members or anyone else on this panel if they join FIOPSI, if they meet with you and they talk a little bit? Like, what is the time commitment for FIOPSI? How do you attend meetings? How do you get involved in the networking groups that Antonio mentioned? Okay, so if you become a member, it's a, a yearly membership and you can join as an individual or you can join as a company, depends which one, which level you want to take. You can, um, you can get involved with the, like I'm on the membership diversification uh, committee and that means within FIOPSI attracting more architects, developers, engineers. We want to diversify our membership base. We are growing. Uh, they can attend those meetings. We can, yeah, uh, we have local events that we put together, uh, meetings, um, sometimes lunch, or um, we have guest speakers as well. So there are so many ways, like the end of, we are having our members meeting at uh, Orlando on the 11th of November, and any member is more than welcome to join us. We will have the Grand Prix. It's a big gala event. We'll be attending that. There's so much. I It's difficult to put it into a couple of moments, but Anyone who's interested, they should reach out and I will guide them, support them and let them know what's happening. Okay, thank you. May I add something? Because yeah. I don't want people to be scared uh, to join. Uh, we we took uh, you know upon ourselves to to contribute and each of us here we took turns to 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 be in a leadership which meant more responsibilities but if you join you can start with baby steps you know you just become a member and you do a little bit so you're not scared and overwhelmed and then it's up to you to see how much you want to be involved or how little you want to be involved you can be a simple member or you can, you can participate and join and there will be very nice events and gatherings and information. Or you can step up later and, you know, just contribute more like Edwina is doing a lot of work, for example, right now for our region. She has actually the entire Western region. So we thank her for that. Um, so that's what you can do, I think. But start as a member and see how you like it. Thank you, Alina, for bringing that up. And I would just use myself as an example. I am a real estate agent in San Francisco. I volunteer at the board and ended up on the Global Business Council. Um, I met Edwina and Joski and Alina uh, through the GBC and Alina in actually introduced me to FIOPSI. Um, I think a couple of years ago, you talked me into joining, which I did. I don't do anything with FIOPSI, except I kind of pop in when there's something local going on. And I read the catalog of all the agents and look to see who's part of the program. I've met some of the people through the Global Business Council. I've been able to reach out to FIOPSI members. We have had some other great panelists from the organization from different countries. Um, and when I had a listing this past year, uh, I noticed that I could send it to FIOPSI and um, it would be a candidate for being on the FIOPSI website 
and get worldwide exposure for my San Francisco listing. It got chosen. I was on the website. I took a snapshot, sent it to the seller. They were thrilled. Um, it was definitely a great perk for my local business here. Um, but I don't do a lot. I'm looking forward to doing more now that I'm not going to be I'm going to be outgoing chair of GBC and just in a support role to Rob. But I think that's true. You can just kind of join and um, talk to the local members, see what they do and get some ideas. I think you're being modest. You, you're doing a lot already because look what you, you're doing for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that's a two way street. <laughs> But the networking is great. I mean, I just have to say, I've really enjoyed that the most. Um, I would like to call on Liz Davidson to add to the this conversation. Liz? Hi, I think being a member and paying the, the dues, I mean, it's, it's quite, you know, uh, uh, it's not cheap to not participate and make yourself um, involved is really a waste of money, I think personally. And it's, it, it brings so much joy to, to get involved and get, get these projects up and coming. And, and it's, I mean, 22 years ago when I started in the business, I never thought my business would come to what it is today. Uh, it is so amazing. And that's all because I just jumped in and I got involved, you know, nationally and internationally. Um, it's it's an amazing uh, organization. That's wonderful. Thank you. Okay, um, Rob, are you are you going to wrap things up or? Yeah, I think so. Um, that we have a few a few questions that maybe you can answer quickly. Um, how much is membership? And also a question for Lena: When you do deals overseas, how do you get paid? What's the commission situation like? And maybe that's another conversation for another day because it probably is, is uh, there's a variety of ways, right? <laughs> uh, the membership, it's $5.95 uh, per year. So for an individual member, it's more expensive for institutions, but that makes sense. Although I mentioned the public institutions are, um, are, are free to join. There is a process of vetting that uh, it goes all the way to the headquarter in Paris, but uh, you know uh, it's 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 fine, and it's free. Uh, regarding that, actually, I didn't say that I make commissions abroad. You know, there are ways to do it. You can be a consultant. You can be paid on retainer. You can be paid per hour. You can be paid as a project. I do not take listings in other countries. I think it's uh, it's not even you know it's I, I can I can use um, uh, Antonio. He is an expert in Portugal. So um, when uh, I um, do business in other countries, I always use a local agent in other countries. But uh, for other types of projects, for business development, that you can work as a consultant and you can be paid in a different way. Thanks so Edwina, may I, or I'm sorry, Rob, may I make one quick comment just to follow up on what Alina was saying? So as Alina pointed out, it's $595 uh, for membership per year. But just to be clear, that's membership in FIOPSI International. So you become a member at the international level. In addition, uh, being here in the United States, you also become a member of the USA chapter. But the membership itself is international. So it, ex it connects you with all the members around the world in I think currently we have members in 70 countries around the world. There are some 50 or so uh, national or multinational chapters, but in total, it's uh, membership is rep represents 70 countries around the world, and you're connected to that entire network. That's great. And is there a um, is there a database where you can search for people in different countries when you have a need? Yes, yeah. uh, oh. absolutely. Great. Would anyone else like to add anything? We're definitely over the hour, but that was from uh, technical well, difficulties. Sure, Edwina. Yeah, just to mention that um, this year we have a um, bundling app, it's called, and every member is on that. And you can connect with people in Singapore or wherever you want to, because we are all connected on this one app and it's an absolute game changer for, for our membership. 
That's I great. just had someone. I I um I just had someone reach out to me who wanted to um, work with someone in Italy, and through the bundling app, I was able to find there. There's over seventy agents in Italy that I was able to really go through and help them. Um, and 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 this on that just that, that simple uh, phone call will hopefully be a referral fee as well. So invaluable. I would just add, um, and I sort of shared in, in, in the, in the um, box, but there are a number of cities across the country, the U.S., that are doing either international trade or have sister cities across the globe. And um, you private sector um, FIOPSI members should do a little research on them, especially if you want to do work in their communities. And meet meet up with those folks and invite them to join FIOPSI because there are a lot of benefits and there are a lot of cities like Tacoma, Seattle, San Francisco, LA, Miami that are doing international trade and foreign investment. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for that. I see that somebody wants your information, Ricardo. Paul, you know, I see that wants your information. I, I'm not sure where we can do that and also somebody asked how much is the corporate fee right now if i remember correctly it's 3000 right for institutions the institutional institutional uh, members yes. the members yes. it's 3000 per year uh, yes correct i think it's in questions and answers ricardo that's where uh, the the uh, the questions are for for your information yeah, there's a few in the Q and A, mostly um, interactions with people. I, I well, like everybody. To, yeah, I uh, just Rob. Like Rob, I'm sorry. Genevieve, can you make sure that uh, the chat is saved before you end this meeting, please? Sure. Yep. Thank you very much. I was just going to say that um, the value that you pay don't—it's not price; it's value. Five hundred ninety-five euros. What you get. In terms of education, I'm able to listen to what's going on in global real estate markets. We're connected. We don't think of local, think of global. We were just on the other day listening to the Belgium real estate market, right? Uh, you can listen to the, the any any country, okay? How important that is. You're getting it from the source, professionals, you know? Um, it's extremely important for my business, knowing what's going on there building those relationships with other uh, friends, right? We call um, definitely the, the bundling app is something it's incredible where you're able to connect with the roster globally and, you know, and you start from there. And as Jaskis well pointed out, so don't think of it as price. It's, it's value. It's a value. And I think if what you get in terms of education and not to mention connections, of course, and referrals, right? Of course. And you, you have to work on that, obviously, but it's, it's value for what it is. It's no, uh, and I think also if you join half of the year, it's prorated, right? So if you join in between the year, I think it's something to point out. So yeah, yeah but definitely wanted to share that, guys. So Antonio, that's that's so true because right now I just see in the chat that Joski's made a contact, someone in Italy, and Ricardo is uh, being requested some more information. So let's just this this event alone has produced some kind of contacts and referrals. It's been very exciting, and thank you again to everyone. Thank you, Edwina. Uh, let me wrap it up and uh, remind you that if you're local to SF, we have a happy hour tonight to meet some of these fine people. And um, if you didn't register in time, just drop us a note. We'll sneak you in. I know Susan doesn't want to do that, but I do. So <laughs> um, you can find me anywhere on the internet. Just call me today and we'll, uh, we'll tell you all about it. Um, thanks everybody for putting up with technical difficulties. This was recorded. We're going to review it and see if it's worth uh, sharing with everybody. But um, take care. And uh, we'll do this again next quarter in the in the beginning of the year. How's that? All right. Bye, thanks, bye everybody. everyone. Thank you again. Thanks, everybody. Bye, -bye. Thanks, great. Wonderful to see you. Bye. Anything. Bye. Thank you.